Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Husni from uh, Malaysia. So for the party surveillance uh, for COVID-19, the Malaysian experience. Okay, for Malaysia is upper middle income country with a 32.78 million population with a 73.4 uh, age of life expectancy uh, with the 94.8 of penetration of smart mobile phone usage. Uh, with the current about 4.3% of our GDP. So this is a surveillance in Malaysia traditionally from the laboratory, mandatory, clinical-based community, other agencies which includes our uh, veterinary and also the private, which require about the three layers from the district, uh, state and up to national. So you can see the, uh, the length of the real time for that in terms of uh, reporting. It's not re really real time, but it's quite a few times of uh, uh, reporting for the real cases. Hmm? So uh, there's a lab as well from directly information from our uh, uh, Institute of Micro, uh, Microwave Lab today. So this is among the common the surveillance in Malaysia include the com uh, communicable disease as well as the uh, non-communicable disease, which is required manually in previously. It takes about up until about in the year of 2020 uh, that is required and mandated as a act. So as it go along about eight years before we have introduced a portal basis in terms of notification, uh, all the communicable disease. This includes of the e-dengue data, uh, which is required being used by the uh, medical personnel rather than uh, user or uh, individual. Hence, in the year of 2020, we introduced an app, uh, we call this My Sejahtera, or it's a wellness, where it's mainly to uh, empowering the participatory surveillance in managing the COVID-19. However, as we finishing, we are transformed into the public health app. An overview of my suggestion as an app, pandemic apps initially, uh, as that we have a 30 user, 30 million user with a uh, command for the traveler has to go uh, to notify uh, the, uh, the self. Uh, information and also the virtual patient care where they are reporting their self uh, symptoms, cough, fever, and so on and so forth. And the contact tracing it requires about 14 billion total check-ins uh, for the contact tracing. So as you can see, it's uh, all the, the two components uh, has been a part of the participant surveillance. As now we has been transformed towards a public health uh, the apps. Uh, it partly carries about 30% uh, required uh, participatory surveillance, uh, which inf uh, include the infectious disease tracker, COVID-19 risk, uh, long COVID uh, assessment and so surveillance. Uh, the, the development of the apps is a very rapid. Within uh, 25th January, our first case, 18 March, first movement, MCO. And then we have a rising case in between for digitization of what we have uh, previously is a manually, uh, manually reporting. Hence, require the governance from the uh, National uh, Security Council with the ownership of the data is by Ministry of Health and empowering by our cyber security as well as the uh, Communication uh, Multimedia uh, Council as well as uh, innovation and science and technology. So this is outcome from everyone when they introduce or they self-inform uh, that they're having a symptoms. We categorize them by low risk and also close contact as well as suspected case. And those who are in positive cases, they will inform or they will notify they have a symptoms when categorization of their symptoms. So they have, uh, in Malaysian has to inform that they are positive, where the home assessment also can, can be, should be updated as this is uh, to assist them in terms of indication of the uh, oral antiviral by we are sending the SMS and also nudging. So the smoking status, for example, BMI, comorbidity, age is have among the self-information that they need to inform and the SMS and also nudging uh, from the apps to the user of the uh, apps. Uh, for the at least for the hour pack slowly. So the effectiveness in terms of uh, in terms of the apps as a part of surveillance, we know that that's uh, this is significant uh, in terms of the among the urban uh, urban area and also as we are uh, known that uh, we're multiracial. Uh, the among the uh, that's a significant that we need to address in terms of utilization of the apps, uh, especially uh, in terms of the participatory surveillance. And we notice that there's an increment uh, from the 78 percent to 95 percent in. 2021 in terms of utilization of smart uh, mobile phone. Hence, uh, we are moving forward with uh, the baseline of participatory surveillance in Malaysia that we need to have a developed capacity and a capability and among the young, old and also the impaired person. And the change management is one of the biggest uh, challenges that we have. And interoperability as well as democratization of digital health services as a tool, as a platform for our digital, for participatory surveillance in Malaysia. And we need a digital enablers from our uh, ministers and also the uh, director generals. And in the end, 
hands towards the end is the digital trust is the most important. Thank you very much.